So what is the Raspberry Pi? Well, the Raspberry Pi, as you can see, is a small, around about the size of a business card, maybe a little bit bigger, uh, computer. Not the same type of computer that you have in your desktop, uh, for a desktop PC, for instance, but providing much of the functionality. The, the Raspberry Pi itself, as you can see, is based upon um, not the same technology as you might have in your PC, but more like your mobile phone. Um, the basis of the Raspberry Pi, or the, the heart of the Raspberry Pi, is the processor that sits in the middle. And the same processor would be in something like uh, an Apple iPhone uh, 3 or some, something of that, of that era, so of the, about that computing power. The Raspberry Pi um, is as flexible as you want it in that it can be used in many, many different applications from multimedia to provide the same sort of functionality that you'd have in a multimedia uh, uh, media center that you'd have at home, um, or in fact interfacing with hardware um, which you might use to uh, control a drone for instance. The Raspberry Pi itself can be connected to all the usual um, peripherals that you might have for your PC, as we have a USB socket at the end here, a network socket at the end, audio and video, but also HDMI out, which allows you to connect it to any modern TV. Unlike a PC which uses a hard disk, uh, the Raspberry Pi uses a little SD card which you might use in your camera, okay, uh, which, which would hold the operating system, which runs Linux rather than a Windows, which you might have on your PC, and any programs that you write to control the Raspberry Pi. But what's the interesting part, which a PC doesn't have in general, is this little connector along here. What this allows us to do is to connect it to anything else in terms of electronics, so we can make a, a system quite quickly by using a Raspberry Pi to do measurement maybe and control and to interface this little connector to your sensors and your um, uh, measurement devices. And that makes the Raspberry Pi incredibly powerful. If you study on the course, uh, what we'll be looking at is two main areas. The first is to turn the Raspberry Pi from being uh, a bare board like it is, and a blank SD card, and to turn it into a working system. And the working system then will be a, a fully functioning Raspberry Pi system. So that's the first part of the course. Then the second part of the course is to actually understand how to program the Raspberry Pi. And to program the Raspberry Pi, we're going to use a language called Python which is um, the most popular language for the Raspberry Pi, and it allows everybody from all different levels able to, to get the Raspberry Pi to do pretty much what we want it to do. And what we'll be doing is to connect a piece of hardware to this connector and be able to control that piece of hardware. That's a simple example of what the Raspberry Pi can do, but it's, it allows you then the flexibility to, to, increase, this, to increase the complexity quite, quite quickly.